हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल ए के मैकेनिकल लेक्चर्स टू टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बिल्डिंग प्रोसेस बिफोर गोइंग टू लेक्चर आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द डिफिनेशन ऑफ बिल्डिंग देन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बिल्डिंग एंड देन आर्क वेल्डिंग एंड ऑक्सीएसिटिलीन वेल्डिंग फर्स्ट वाट इज़ द डिफिनेशन ऑफ वेल्डिंग तो देन वेल्डिंग इज द प्रोसेस बाई विच वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस ए लोकल परमानेंट जॉइंट बाई द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ हीट और विदाउट द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ हीट बाई द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्रेसर एंड विदाउट अप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्रेसर एंड बाई द यूज ऑफ फिलर मेटेरियल एंड विदाउट द यूज ऑफ फिलर मेटेरियल इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द थिकनेस ऑफ मेटेरियल इफ इट इज ऑफ लेस थिकनेस देन द फिलर मेटेरियल नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बट इट इज ऑफ हाई थिकनेस देन द रिक्वायरमेंट देयर इज रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ फिलर मेटेरियल आफ्टर दैट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बिल्डिंग बिल्डिंग इज क्लासिफाइड इन टू वेरियस कैटेगरी अकॉर्डिंग टू बॉन्डिंग इट इज ऑफ थ्री टाइप मैकेनिकल बॉन्डिंग ऑटोमिक बॉन्डिंग एंड डेड एसी बॉन्डिंग and in uh, mechanical bonding further it is divided into two parts temporary and permanent or semi permanent and uh, according to uh, fusion or uh, uh, according to uh, dep- uh, dependency of material it is classified into three parts first one is solid state welding uh, second one liquid state welding and third one solid and liquid state welding solid state is further classified into uh, various categories first one resistance welding friction welding then uh, diffusion welding hot forge welding uh, induction welding then cold welding cold welding further is of two types pressure welding ultrasonic welding and explosive welding and coming to next liquid state welding it is of uh, three types first one electric arc welding then second one chemical chemical is also categorized into two types first one is gas welding and second one is thermite welding and last one high energy beam welding last one solid and liquid state welding solid and liquid state uh, welding is divided into two parts first one is brazing and next one is soldering now first welding is arc welding in the arc welding uh, the welding is done by the use of electric arc that's why it is called arc welding uh, next how it is done how it is performed so then for that what we have to done is first we have to take uh, take the material which is going to be welded second one there is requirement of electrode then electrode holder uh, then uh, power supply and electric cables uh, the electrode is uh, contained in the electrode holder and it is connected to the uh, uh cathode terminal and uh, workpiece is connected to anode terminal here cathode is nothing but uh, negative and anode is positive point means uh, by cathode uh, there is ejection of electrons on the workpiece material where the welding is going to be takes place uh, so what we have to do for the welding first power supply is going to be on and then Uh, we are uh, touch the uh, we are touching the electrode tip uh, with the uh, workpiece then there is short circuit generated due to short circuit uh, there is generation of arc uh, after that we are taking the electrode at some uh, certain distance that certain distance is called as uh, arc gap the arc gap should be taken as 0.5 d to 1.5 d here the d is nothing but the diameter of electrode so uh, for uh, continuation of arc we are uh, providing that gaps uh, that gaps uh, uh, is 0.5 d to 1.5 d uh, due to continuation of arc intense heat will be generated due to that intense heat electrode also melted and workpiece is also melted 
द द मेल्टेड इलेक्ट्रोड इज गोइंग टू फिल द गैप बिटवीन द वर्क पीस ड्यू टू दैट देयर इज मेल्टिंग फ्यूजन ऑफ मेल्टेड इलेक्ट्रोड एंड वर्क पीस वर्क पीस गैप मीन्स द एंड ऑफ बोथ वर्क पीस इज मेल्टेड एंड इन दैट देयर इज डिपोजिशन ऑफ मेल्टेड इलेक्ट्रोड Uh, when whole uh, whole gap is filled by the uh, melted electrode then we are uh, stopping the uh, supply of power after that uh, when it is uh, hold uh, in air the there is a strong bonding takes place between the melted electrode and the both uh, both work piece and due to that a strong bonding takes place and do it, uh, after that the welding process is completed uh this is the whole process uh, uh which is uh, written in the slide you can uh, uh, you can uh, read by that next one is oxyacetylene welding uh in the oxyacetylene uh, gas welding as the name uh, is oxyacetylene so we can uh, clarify that uh, there is a Uh, there is welding takes place by the use of oxygen and uh, acetylene here we can see that the oxygen uh, cylinder which is the source of oxygen is painted by the black and there is a source of acetylene gas uh, there is a source of acetylene gas which is uh, being painted by the red so we can identify both the cylinder by the color if the color is red then the, uh, that is acetylene tank and if the color is black then that is oxygen tank so first what is the oxyacetylene welding so we can uh, clarify it that the welding process which is uh, done by the combustion of acetylene and oxygen in correct portion then the welding is done that welding is called as oxyacetylene gas welding uh, first we are going to see what are the accessories required for the oxyacetylene welding first there is requirement of work piece where the uh, where the welding is performed next one is nozzle third one torch angle next uh, acetylene cylinder oxygen cylinder then the connecting cables uh, by both tanks due to the, uh, both tanks there is supply of acetylene and oxygen which is going to be mixed in the torch angle uh, sorry uh, which is mixed in the mixing chamber uh sorry uh, i have uh, uh, told uh, the accessories torch angle nothing uh, it is uh, not the accessories it is uh, the uh, it is the orientation of uh, torch which is uh, nothing but at 45 degree when the welding process is performed so we have uh, see, uh, seen that the, the definition of oxyacetylene uh, gas welding now how it is being performed uh, means what are the working process of oxyacetylene gas welding which is uh, shown here uh, in the oxyacetylene welding there are two reaction takes place first one as uh, first one is uh, the acetylene is mixed with the oxygen uh, oxygen uh, which is uh, uh, being provided by the tank then uh, when it is uh, reacted then carbon monoxide and hi and hydrogen is produced and uh, some heat will be generated and secondary reaction takes place uh, Uh, secondary reaction is uh, uh, the carbon monoxide which is uh, being uh, which is being produced in the primary reaction is uh, mixed with uh, the atmospheric oxygen and uh, hydrogen then uh, the carbon monoxide and uh, uh, and uh, uh, is, is water is uh, produced and uh, a delta h2 uh, heat will be produced when we are combining it then it becomes c2h2 plus 2.5 o2 2 CO2 plus H2O plus delta H. Delta H is nothing but the heat produced by the combustion of both acetylene and oxygen. From the last uh, reaction, uh, we can uh, see that uh, 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 the 2.5 mole of oxygen, which is uh, clarified. uh from here that uh, the 2.5 mole of oxygen is required for the combustion of 1 mole of acetylene 
the then the uh, perfect combustion takes place here the 2.5 mole of oxygen is not uh, being provided all by the uh, oxygen tank but the 1 mole of oxygen is uh, provided by the oxygen tank and rest 1.5 mole is uh, taken from the atmospheric air so one question is arises that uh, uh, in the uh, in the welding process uh, each uh, each uh, both tanks will be emptied at the same times yes it is emptied at the at same times because uh, the, uh, the supply of uh, both acetylene and oxygen is same means uh, we are taking one mole of oxygen oxygen from the cylinder and uh, one mole of acetylene both uh, in uh, same proportion that's why during uh, welding uh, both uh, both the tank will be emptied at the same time uh, so uh, by the figure we can uh, clarify that uh, how the uh, welding process is performed first what uh, we are doing that uh, first open the valve of uh, uh, acetylene and uh, ch uh, check uh, it the uh, uh, check it by the tip of nozzle there is a flow of any gases uh, if it is uh, providing some uh, striking on the hand then we can identify that there is a uh, supply of uh, acetylene is uh, taken place next again uh, we are opening the uh, regulator of uh, uh, oxygen cylinder and again uh, seen that there is there any gas ejecting on the hand uh, next one we are opening both uh, both the uh, oxygen uh, oxygen cylinder and uh, acetylene cylinder and after that we are providing some spark uh, at the nozzle tip when uh, there is a spark at the nozzle tip then the arc will be generated uh, after that we are uh, providing a per perfect arc for the building due to that the perfect building is being takes place according to that we are mixing uh, we are uh, providing the supply in correct proportion so uh, uh, when the building is done what are the orientation of the torch angle we are uh, providing the torch angle is at 45 degree first what we will done that uh, the ends of workpiece is uh, is builded due to that uh, there is no deflection in the, the both the workpiece uh, which is going to be welded after that we are providing forward uh, welding uh, forward means right to left and left to right so that the uh, whole portion of uh, this uh, spot is welded this one means we are uh, taking this angle this angle is at 45 degree after that we are traversing the welding torch from right to left and left to right so that the perfect welding is being takes place first the end is being welded after the end is being welded then we are traversing uh, left to right and right to left so that the all welding process is being performed this is the process of oxyacetylene gas welding next one is there are generation of three flames in the oxyacetylene welding first one is neutral flame second one carburizing flame and third one is oxidizing flame all the fl all the flames are different application which is being presented in the next slide all the flames are different different temperature uh, in the neutral flame first uh, what is the neutral flame when the supply of oxygen and cylinder both is equal then the neutral flame will be generated second one carburizing flame when the excess acetylene gas is being supplied as compared to oxygen then the flame generator is carburizing flame and next one uh, last one oxidizing flame when the supply of oxygen is more than the supply of acetylene then the oxidizing flame is generated uh, we can uh, identify that in the neutral flame uh, there is uh, one internal uh, internal flame is generated and uh, one is outer flame and in carburizing flame there are three one uh, first one is internal cone then intermediate cone and outer cone and in neutral internal and outer uh, like that in oxidizing also uh, there is internal cone and uh, one is outer cone uh, it is being uh, uh, 
प्रजेंटेड बाय द कलर लाइक एसिटिलीन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय वाइट कलर एंड ऑक्सी आउटर फ्लेम इज इज द कलर ऑफ आउटर फ्लेम इज ब्लू इज इंटरनल इज बींग वाइट एंड इंटरमीडिएट लिटिल विट येलो द वेन द वी आर सींग द टेम्परेचर ऑफ ऑल द फ्लेम्स इन द न्यूट्रल फ्लेम द इनर कोन इज एट थर्टी वन हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड आउटर कोन इज ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड इन कार्बोराइजिंग फ्लेम द टेम्परेचर ऑफ इनर कोन इज ट्वेंटी नाइन हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड द इनर कोन इन द कार्बोराइजिंग सॉरी ऑक्सीडाइजिंग फ्लेम इज थर्टी थ्री हंड्रेड डिग्री डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड कमिंग टू इट्स अप्लीकेशन देन coming to its application we can see that sorry it is neutral flame uh, by wrong we are uh, writing it uh, uh, brutal flame it is neutral flame neutral flame uh, sorry yeah neutral flame is used for mild steel low carbon steel alloy uh, and cast iron aluminum alloy and cast iron and oxidizing flame it is used for the welding of zinc and brass and last one carburizing flame is कार्बन बेस्ड मेटल कार्बन बेस्ड और वी कैन इज इट इज नथिंग बट निकेल एंड कार्बन बेस्ड मेटल एंड दिस वन इज न्यूट्रल फ्लेम वी कैन सी दैट दिस इज न्यूट्रल फ्लेम by wrong we are uh, writing it uh, brutal flame and this one is nickel and carbon based metal so that's all about the building so thanks for uh, listening my uh, lecture uh, if there is any problem please comment in the section uh, for the problem uh, uh, i am trying uh, i will try to uh, uh, explain all the uh, all your comments so thanks and uh, lastly i request you all please uh like share and subscribe my